Do you love tropical style plants, either in your house or in your garden, but you're restricted on space? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to plant up this hot tropical container garden using only three plants that perfectly combine together to give you bold tropical foliage throughout the warm summer months. I'm gonna be planting my tropical style garden into this glazed ceramic pot. Glazed pots are fantastic because they dry out so much less frequently. I'm gonna be using Coleus Lime Delight with its beautiful golden green leaves combined with Ipamir Sweet Caroline Purple. The two colors of these leaves will perfectly pick out the colors of Colocasia Mojito with its lush green leaves and purple mottled markings. Colocasia are fantastic and versatile plants. They thrive in heat, but love to have wet feet. You'll notice this one is growing in a pond basket that you typically expect to find marginal aquatic plants in, and colocasias will thrive as marginal aquatic plants, but they will also grow perfectly well as a container plant, especially in the warm summer months, provided you can give them plenty of water. Now the compost I'm gonna be using is this peat-free multi-purpose compost, and this will be fine for four to six weeks. By then, these plants will have used up all of the nutrients in the compost, so I will feed with a good quality, multi-purpose liquid feed once a week. So I've tipped the colocasia out of that pond basket and I'm just pinching out any damaged foliage. And this is gonna make a really good central hero plant for this tropical container garden. Now this lush green foliage of Coleus Lime Delight is gonna work really, really well for a tropical style container garden. And I love to plant in threes. When we're designing gardens, it's always useful to plant in odd numbers because it looks really natural and much more pleasing to the eye. I love to cram my tropical container gardens with foliage and leave no space in the pot at all. And this is absolutely fine because these are displays for one season. And because we're gonna be feeding the plants weekly, they will have all of the nutrients they need to grow away. Now we're gonna give our tropical container gardens some high contrast drama by adding a dark leafed plant that's gonna contrast beautifully against the lush green foliage of the coleus and colocasia. Now this Ipamir plant, the dark leaved plant, is actually a sweet potato vine, but they are now being frequently cultivated for their really ornamental foliage and you can get plants that will trail over the cider pots or ones like this one that we're using that is sort of semi-trailing but remains quite compact and shrubby, which is perfect for our tropical container garden. Now for the planting that I'm putting around the base of the colocasia, I'm alternating between the lush green leaves of that coleus and those striking dark leaves of the ipamir. By alternating the foliage like this, I'm creating high impact and drama at the base of that larger leaved colocasia, and it's gonna be really eye-catching. All three of the plants that we are using in our tropical container garden will thrive in full sun, but also partial shade, so it makes this container nice and versatile. Now you'll see that I am really squeezing in this last plant, but this is how I'm gonna get instant impact. You could, of course, start earlier in the year and plant your plants into the container much smaller and allow them space and time to grow out. But if you're looking for something that's high impact and bold straight away, Planting like this is perfectly fine. As I say, just make sure to provide plenty of compost, plenty of frequent feeding through the growing season, and plenty of water to prevent your plants drying out because they're gonna be competing for everything they need inside this restricted space. But that said, it goes for all plants that you're growing in containers. Now I'm just filling in any gaps that are between the root balls of my plants with compost because we don't want air gaps. We're gonna firm them in really well so the roots are gonna make contact with all that fresh new compost and the plants can establish and grow really strongly straight away. All that's left to do now is to give this tropical style container garden a really good soaking. And you can see straight away how lush and vibrant this tropical container garden is looking with that deep purple shimmering of the Ipamir sweet potato vines contrasting against that lush coleus leaf. Again, the cultivar we used is called Lime Delight. 
but look how they pick out the markings on Colocasia mojito so beautifully. I absolutely love when a simple set of plants can combine to create such high impact. Hopefully you found this video useful and if you did, please hit subscribe. It is the best way to support this channel. And don't forget, we've got a growers support forum. So if you've got any questions or ideas for your own container gardens, please create a free account and post about them there. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video.